Hey guys, Nick Danberg here from Danberg Darren Real Estate Experts. Uh, I'm sitting with May Lee, who's a friend and a client, and we're in her shop, uh, Beachology, down in the Old Orchard. And I wanted to come down and talk to her about her shop and see what she's doing. How are you? Hello, how are you? I'm great. Thank I'm great. you for being here. Thank you. Happy 2021. Yes, I'm glad that it's here, finally. Yes, me too. So, Maylee, can you tell me, how did you settle in Maine? So, my husband uh, had an opportunity to work with the family business, which is um, Lafayette Hotels, and it's the hospitality industry. Yeah. Maine is known for being, you know, in the hospitality world. Uh, we moved from Los Angeles to Maine. Yeah. Um, we were looking for places to reside. Sure. I knew he was going to be, you know, working in the southern Maine region. So we Googled, you know, houses in right. Maine to look at, and your name came up. Yeah, well, my <laughs> and mom your, and your mom. Yeah. And so I dug a little deeper and reached out to you guys and right. just told you that we were relocating from the West Coast and knew very little about Maine, and so. We just needed a little bit of guidance and unbeknownst to us, now we're really good friends yeah. and you are basically my first impression of me, honestly. When did you, what was that? 2007. Oh, wow. God, time has gone by. Right. And Jack was in a car seat, right? A little. Yes. Like, it, it, yes, it, he was, I want to say eight. Yeah. Okay. Seven or eight. Wow. And then Stella, Stella was in the car seat. Stella was in the car seat. Yeah. Um, so Ken is uh, running a local hotel. Yes. And you guys, you guys were on site for a while, right? Yes. So we lived on property uh, just until we could get things settled from Los yeah. Angeles yeah. and figure out where everything was. Yeah. You know, where we were, where we wanted to live, where the school districts were. Sure. Um, so we had yeah. actually three years to really digest that and acclimate and learn about Maine and its seasons mm -hmm. and its um, flow and rotation of uh, people. And it's a big difference from Huge. California. Huge. And that was, that's where you're, that's where you're from originally, right? Uh, West coast, Seattle, Seattle and okay. Los Angeles, but yes. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. No regrets by the way. Yeah. I am so happy. The family is so happy to live in Maine and you know, actually, it's interesting. I have friends that come out right. and um, envy this life and this lifestyle sure. and the culture of Maine. And um, so I think it's a really good idea. What do you like the most? About Maine? Yeah. Um, How, what do you like the most that you didn't know was here? You know, everyone distracted me about the weather. Sure. Because being from Los Angeles, it was about all about the weather. Mm -hmm. And I knew if I could get that down, mm -hmm then everything else would be fine. Right. Um, I do have to admit meeting you as yeah. my first impression of Maine allowed me to know that I there were people and culture right. that I could um, could get into, like I could actually learn and grow with. So thank you for that and yeah. your mom because you welcomed us and I felt okay and I felt safe. Sure. Um, but the weather part, um, you know, Ken's from Michigan and so the Four Seasons was part of his life and sure. culture. Um, I look forward to that. It allows our body and our rhythms to sort of slow down and ramp up and, you know, go with cycles of life. Right. So um, I appreciate that uh, I have this store. I appreciate that I get to meet a lot of people from around the world. I appreciate that um, people come to me into this space and I can see the world. Sure. So being in Maine, um, you know, you can have the environment yeah. and the landscape yeah. and the business sure it's sort of a trifecta so you have five shops now i have five shops yes with lafayette hotel so mm -hmm. you know we're under the umbrella of the hospitality okay industry so where are those shops? we have one here in old orchard mm -hmm. which is called beachology okay. and we've expanded over our 12 years seasons here right. to a happy nest collection so we have a collection of beachology oh, nice. okay. that is called happy nest and it's really about tapping into things that make you happy or remind you of mm -hmm. what makes you happy mm -hmm. more of a spiritual side of beachology yeah, yeah. so um, this is beachology and happy nest in old orchard yeah. and then uh, we grew into a gunkwet beach yeah. and that's just a cute little beachology shop on the beach right right there on beach street and then we grew into um, Kenny Bunkport, and I felt that um, 
we didn't need another beachology. We needed an, uh, um, another happiness sure. store that just would stand alone and have its own space with its sort of vibe and spirituality and, you know, tapping into what makes you happy. So that's in Kenny Bunkport. And then we grew this year into a little bodega. Nice. Happiness birthed a little baby called Little Bodega. <laughs> so that's the essentials. So we have gifts, wine, beer, and essentials. So nice. kind of hybrid everything. And then we moved up to Lincolnville, mm -hmm. Midcoast, Maine. And uh, we're at the Lobster Pound there, which has, a, before we bought it, the original owners, which mm -hmm. is a landmark in Maine. Right. right. They owned it for 50 years. And so they always were known for their gift shop. Yeah. And so uh, Lafayette Hotels wanted to make sure that they represented the gift shop part of it wow. to continue their legacy. Yeah. But it's called Beachology. And then one little one in Booth Bay at the Fisherman's Wharf sort of their gift shop in the lobby okay so yeah learning this more about the state of maine <laughs> as i grow so you're really busy yes but i like being busy yeah i'm good with that that's great you know as long as i have the bandwidth i can do it um <laughs> and the team to do it i am all good so yeah. do you have any online presence this is uh this year's next door is the online presence so we're building a website okay and we're building an online platform so that people who you know like we learned last year everybody bought online mm -hmm. that this was the year to really do that because the physical it. brick and mortars are one thing i'm a hands-on in person sure i love to do this i love to meet people so um i think the world of the web and that online presence, if I can translate that mm -hmm. and people can get what they want without having to physically be here, would be great. That's really cool. Yeah. So when you're not running five different stores, what do you guys like to do for fun? You know, we bought our house yeah. <laughs> in a location um, with intent to be near beaches that aren't near work. Sure. And so we love to relax in our sort of nook of the, you know, sure. away from work. Uh, near in you know in, in near the beach right so we love to to do that we like to bike ride we yeah. love the landscape i mean the landscape in maine i can't even put a price tag on it right. you know and the fact that i live here yeah honestly is a gift yeah, hadley and i were walking on the beach yesterday um and uh, we kind of paused and looked and we were like what if we live here right we do pinch ourselves still yeah, yeah. i mean you, you, i i i you know born and raised here so sometimes i take advantage of it take it for granted yeah you know i drive by the ocean every day yeah um and sometimes i don't see it but every once in a while when you slow down and you watch the sunrise or you know you see um you know just the sea smoke in the winter time or something it's, it's just amazing it truly is amazing it's like a portrait it's like a like a live portrait yeah constantly evolving and changing and I do think that there's a mystery about Maine. I think people are more hip to it now, but there's been a mystique about it right. and sort of an unknown, sort of uncharted waters. Uh -huh. And now it's on the map because with obviously a tough year last year, I think people were looking for places that are remote, that have culture and have opportunities. So, and we are that. Yeah. Are you finding uh, any challenges? With living in Maine? Yeah. Um, well, I tend to run on the, um, positive side of things so i always find even in lessons in life i try and in, infuse the lessons into a positive so i haven't knock on wood have not ran into too many negative situations being here in maine i have like i said no regrets at all for my children yeah. for my lifestyle for my friendships and yeah. for business yeah uh, yeah that's awesome Grateful. That's awesome. Are you hoping to open another store? No. The online <laughs> no, business no. is going to be enough. This is going to be it. I feel like that is going to be the big mothership business because it reaches far and wide and it's not just the people walking in the door. Yeah. Um, so that's something I really want to learn more about and mm -hmm. how to do that. Let me ask you. Well. Um, so we're going to do our Christmas party again. Okay, just great. So just put it on the get my outfit together? Yeah. Get your outfit together. Uh, December 4th, first Saturday in December. Okay. Um, it will go on this year. But one event that I actually love coming down to, do you still do your... Friendology? Yeah. You know, we had an event for 10 years called Friendology, and it was more about, because when I moved here, I had no family other than my husband's family, which is my family. But, you know, I had to make friends be my family, and I felt like it was a great gathering to remind people that, you know, friendships are really important and they become your extended family. Right. So I did do it for 10 years, but last year was the first year we didn't do it up for yeah, obvious, reasons. obvious reasons. And I would like to go back to that, but I have to figure out what that looks like, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. every year changes and right. I'm willing to go with the changes. So right. I would love to. 
Yeah. Yeah. For oh, sure. And I think people miss it. Yeah. It's a, it's super fun. It's a really great It's event. a super fun. I love yeah. coming down and Hadley and I do most of our Christmas shopping. Yeah. Time. Well, that's great. Yeah. Favorite restaurant. So it's really hard to pick in Maine because sure. we're so fortunate to have so many restaurant people and so many like businesses yeah, pop their up. nominations even, and everything. Totally. And right? the fact that I think we're per capita next to San Francisco. It's gotta be for the square footage we have. So I'm impressed with the food scene and the music scene. Right. Um, but I have to say, there's something extremely magical about the Black Point Inn. Yeah. We moved close to there yeah. for us to get away from work and sure. to reflect on sort of where we are and, and why we picked this location. So the Black Point Inn, we just went the other day and I have to say, I still pinch myself that it's that pretty yeah. and that great of an experience. They had jazz night. Oh. You know, on Tuesday night, and and the sun was beautiful, and the, we were there for sunset. It's one of the only and places you can see sunset. And the, the culture ocean. and the history yeah. of that particular uh, restaurant and hotel is they don't exist anymore. No. And I'm imagining you've done the cliff walk. I do that all the time. We did that when we decided to buy the house. Isn't that amazing? The end of the cliff walk, I called Nick and said, "Okay, let's go for this. Yeah. Let's do this." So I love that. That walk, that walk is very special to yeah. me. Yeah. So wonderful. What's your favorite thing to do? I love meeting people. I love working mm -hmm. at my stores and meeting people and learning from people. Nice. It's just, it makes me grow and it makes me feel like I, the world has come to me. Sure. So being in my stores and working and connecting with people yeah. is my jam. Wow. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. I, I mean, maybe it's boring, but <laughs> it kind of fuels me. It yeah. gives me the, uh, the, I don't know, to keep going. So it sounds like you're an extrovert. I'm not really, no. to be honest. Um, I just like to absorb culture and people sure. and stories. Okay. I love being, seeing people in their authentic selves because we all can relate. It, once they take the guard down, yeah. then I'm getting into who they are and sure. they get to know who I am. And then you make friends. And obviously with social media and Facebook, yeah. you become, I have friends in Hawaii I just met last weekend and we're talking about the weather, the fact that it was raining when they came and now it's 90 degrees with humidity. So the fact that I'm even having these conversations has extended sort of my, fueled my soul with, sure meeting people that I met really just in passing at my store yeah. because I was there. Like our paths crossed. That's amazing. So that's what I love to do is to have more paths cross yeah. with people that help me learn about their world and the world itself. It's uh, it's so funny the connections that Maine has with across the world, yeah. you know, across the globe. And we talk about um, Jason Spooner, you know, and how like, it's a singer that we liked and we, we would go listen to him and then, you know, he met your sister, yeah. you know, in, yeah, in uh, yeah. The, I mean, it just, it's so funny Sundance, how, yeah. yeah, in Sunday, it's how all of these little connections, um, that are a little part of the world has that's and the fingerprint that it puts on the world, which absolutely. is pretty amazing. And that's you know, it's really, what really, makes life more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Maylee, thanks so much for, uh, coming on with us. Uh, how can people find their stores? Well, we will be online. Um, you know what? The best place right now is Facebook and Instagram. Okay. I'm heavier on the Instagram side of it. Great. Um, but we're building our website, which mm -hmm. is the Beachology. It's actually beachologystore.com. Okay. Um, and we have happinessbymaylee.com. Sure. Uh, .com. Those are going to be my two website. Um, and how about your Instagram handle? handle? My Instagram is the Beachology Store. At Beachology. Beachology. No, just Beachology Store and okay. Happiness by Mei Lee. Those nice. are the two ways to see sort of current, you know, things happening in real time. Well, thanks for joining Mei Lee and I, uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode.